Good morning folks and welcome to another uh, video. This time we're going to be doing some, what is it Nigel? Well it's grafting, apple grafting, but using a drill. Okay. So <laughs> One or two people have persuaded me to have a go at this. I don't know much about it, uh, but we're going to have a go at doing grafting, um, well using this. Okay. Uh, first thing I've got to do is to get some scions, some, okay. some cuttings. And I've got a tree here that's um, a nice flavoured seedling. It's got a, a flavour of plums and cherries in the apple, so it's quite unusual. And let's just mention about the signs for people who haven't got a oh, clue. Yeah. They're the, the new um, shoots, what go straight up in the air from the previous season. That's right, this is, this is what we use for grafting and making new trees. Yeah. And it's the only way you can actually make a variety come true uh, when you're making new trees, by, by grafting. Yeah, yeah. You can sometimes get cuttings to go, but uh, cuttings, it's not a good method of propagating trees. Okay. Right, so I'll cut some of these off. I'll need a few diameters, possibly, because they've got to be the same size as, size the, drill. as the drill, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I'll get a, a thin one. Oh, no, I can use the, the end of that, so that would be OK. OK, let's head up the, um, the plot. I found It's actually a crab apple tree, which is not very much use, so okay. we'll, we'll use that. Right, let's have a little wander then. It's a long while, long while since I've been up on the plot. Yes. Do you like the um, the, the tidy way that Alison's keeping the, the pathways with the wood? Yeah, tip? yeah. No weeds are allowed, or not many. No, it's really good. This is the tree here, which is the crab apple. Right, this is the crab apple tree okay. that I don't actually want. Right. So that's going to be like an experimental tree now. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work. And uh, I've got two sizes of drill. Start with the, I'll start with the narrow one. Yeah. Now the, the principle of grafting is that the cutting um, and the the tree that you're grafting onto, you've got to get the cambium layer, the living wood of both parts to be in contact. Okay. All right, the cambium layer. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here, uh, let's try this where my finger is. Yeah. I'll yeah. try and do the first graft there. So I'm going to. Oh, it's going up the wrong way. Can you see that right with your, yeah, with yeah, your camera? Now, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to drill in there. I've got to be close to the cambium layer, that means close to the surface. Now we need to get the scion wood. There it is. Not, not quite sure of the diameter, so let's compare it with the drill. I think probably about there. Now I've got to scrape away the bark. Mustn't scrape it too much, otherwise I will remove the cambium layer.
and I will have to taper it a little bit at the end to get it in the hole. You'll notice the wood here is a, an interesting colour. Right, let's see if I can put that in. Do you want to get a bit closer, Julie, or is that okay where you are? You can see it's, it's quite a tight fit got to now trim that a little bit and I'm not sure whether to tape it to keep water out or just leave it as it is. Let's take off that there. And tidy up the other end. I'll do, I won't use tape, I've got some Vaseline, petroleum jelly, Yeah. so I'll put that to seal each end. Okay. I think that, that'll probably do it, I think. Yeah, this is very soft and waxy, look. That looks quite promising. I think I think that will be okay. Okay. Well, that oh, you just do the other side. You don't have to use tape. I know years ago, before tape was invented, they used to use clay, blue clay. All right. Okay. I'll do one or two more. So I'll, I'll try to do one in, in here. Yeah. So Nigel, when would you expect to know when this, whether this has been a success or not? I think within four weeks. Okay. Yeah, probably within four weeks. I'm not quite sure. If I was to put a lot of grafts here, I don't know whether to leave the rest of the tree to allow the sap to come up. Yeah. Uh, to make a, a rapid okay. union, yeah. or whether to cut the top off. I don't know which is the best. Right. But I think what I will do to start with is just leave it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this stub here, I think again I will leave this, assuming I can fit it of course, Let's see if it will go in. Oh, that's, that's too loose, I've got to use a thicker piece. It's got to be a tight fit, otherwise it will not be a stable joint. You can see why this is not the method that commercial nurseries use. Anyway, it's a bit of fun. Still not right. Oh, in fact, that would have been an Australian graft anyway. I was using the wrong end. <laughs> <laughs> Some of my grafting students yesterday 
did that and I had to tell them that if you graft upside down the bud doesn't survive. Okay. I don't know why, they somehow seem to sense gravity. Right, a bit of a taper on the end. tight fit there. Lovely. And I'll cut it to the bud. Oh that's the wrong one. Yeah, yeah. They all look the same. Here we are. Cut it to the bud there. Seal it with a bit more Vaseline and, yeah, bit more and, Vaseline we'll and then we're done I think. Yeah. Keep our fingers crossed. For the purposes of the video, or the next video, I'm going to do a, a few of these uh, when Julie turns the camera off, and then we'll come back in a few weeks and see how many of them have survived, and we'll be able to work out roughly what percentage we can expect to, to get with this method. Okay then, Nigel. Well, right. thanks for that. Okay, thank you.